With that, we bring in Alina Haba, attorney for former President Trump. Alina, great to have you with us. Thank you for being here today. I actually want to start uh, with that uh, piece of sound from the town hall last night with Laura Ingram and the former President Donald Trump. Watch this. It's yeah. such a huge amount of money. You have to decide whether you're going to put up that bond and escrow to, to appeal. Are I you do. going to do that? And I'll, where are you I'll tell get you what money? we're going to do. Number one, well, I have a lot of cash, but that doesn't mean he can take it. I mean, you know what he did? I think he looked at my cash and he said, well, we'll take all of his cash. So, Alina, welcome. Uh, first of all, thank you for being here. And does that indicate that the former president plans to pay this bond, whether he's going to do the bond or pay this outright in cash because he says that he essentially has that much cash? Is that the case? I actually agree with my client's sentiment. I just want to add something that most Americans don't realize. Miss James started out asking for $250 million. Mm -hmm. When she got a glimpse of just how wealthy the Trump Organization is because they're a successful business in the state of New York, because they employ thousands of people and pay hundreds of millions of dollars in taxes mm -hmm. to the state of New York, she upped that. She upped that ask. Why? Because her goal was to try and hurt the president, try and hurt his family, his company. And quite honestly, all I can say to that without breaking my privilege and giving her a glimpse, which I would never give her the courtesy of having into our strategy, is that she has no chance. The appellate record is strong. The record is going to be uh, very clear to the American public. And I look forward to having everyone see what we say and, and really get a glimpse of what happened in that 11 weeks in court. But nonetheless, Alina, that amount, is there any Hail Mary pass that circumvents the reality that that money has to be paid, whether it's in a bond or in cash, before you can go to the appellate process? Is there any workaround at all? So there's a couple things, right? And I'll speak generally. You can post a bond, um, which is an option. You can tell the judge that you should set aside the verdict because it's insane, which this is. Um, will you be asking and him all to of do those that? those options are on the table. I will never show my cards, Martha. You know I'm too good to do that. But I will tell you that we, we have a great team. I'm proud of our, our team, and we're working around the clock to figure out what strategically is the best move. One thing I can tell you is that her goal of tearing down the Trump organization, her goal of tearing down the individuals that work so hard, including on his campaign, his family, and the list goes on and on, her goal is frankly not going to succeed. That's all I'm willing to say. What did you make of the fact that she said, you know, when she was sort of guessing how he may come up with this money or what he might choose to sell off, yeah. she said, well, I look up at 40 Wall Street every single day. <laughs> yes. And that chip on her shoulder is why we're here today. The, look, this is a woman who ran on getting Trump before she even knew anything about the Trump organization. She made good on a campaign promise, and she used Judge and Gorin to help her facilitate that promise. Martha, all I can say is this. President Trump is one of the smartest businessmen, one of the greatest presidents we have ever seen. If she thinks she is going to take him down, if that was her goal, which we all know very well it was, and she got a strong assist there in court, but I will tell you this. That goal will not be successful. And that is the message I can give to everyone listening here. It will not be successful. We've seen it happen time and time again. Look at what's happening in Georgia. Look at what's happening with Miss James going to Washington right before she files the complaint. We have proof of that now. We're not talking about it because it's so damaging. This is all political. There's actually no, no factual basis to it. And I'm really looking forward to everybody seeing our record on appeal. I hope they take the time to yeah. read it so that they can get a window into what are the facts. They've done nothing wrong. Well, there were no victims, and everyone made money. It, I mean, it's, it's interesting. We're going to get into this later, but um, that that you know, the numbers in New York right now indicate that there are Democrats who are leaning towards Trump. I mean, he's still 12 points behind yeah. the current president. But I think it's interesting, given how perhaps you know the overreach of this, that maybe all people look at and try to figure out how this possibly makes sense. Andy McCarthy wrote this in National Review. Just a quick thought on this before I let you go, Alina, if I may. He said, to my mind, it's unlikely that Trump's appeal will result in a clean win for either side. The realist in me is not banking on a sweeping appellate win for Trump. I anticipate that he will get material relief in terms of the dollar amount, but I wouldn't hold my breath on the rest of the penalties, and those penalties matter a lot. What do you say to that? 
I say that I welcome him to be part of the legal team if he thinks he knows the case better than the team that tried it for 11 weeks. I've been on this case for the better of three years. I can tell you right now, um, there are truly no facts that support any of these decisions. And that, again, as I can say, will be made very clear in our appeal. Well, we look forward to seeing uh, the next move in this very complicated uh, game of chess that has a lot of people's attention. It's an absolutely extraordinary number. Um, and it's really yeah. unbelievable that there isn't, uh, <laughs> that there's not another step um, before that money has to change hands. So we'll see what happens. We'll be watching, Alina. Thank you very much, Alina. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.